Okay, today um, <clears throat> what we're doing is looking at log transformation. So on uh, the notes that's here on the website, this is what, you, what you've got. Um, so log transformation logs just a function. All right, and we'll get to that in a minute as to what when we use the calculator. Um, all right, so here's the information we've got. Um, we've got the gross domestic product, GDP in dollars, and expected lifespan in people for 12 countries. So the gross domestic product is our EV, and our RV is the lifespan. So we're kind of going, having a look to see whether with the higher gross domestic product, do you live longer or not? That's essentially what we're looking at here. All right, so we're given a little bit of information. We're told that, actually, let's keep that there. So we're told the association is non-linear and we're using a log X transformation. So we'll have a look and see what that means to us in a minute. All right, so uh, what do we need to do? Well, we need to find a regression line before we want to do some stuff because we're asked to linearize the data, find the regression line, and then predict from that. All right, so information in our calculator. Go to the statistics there. We've got nothing <coughs> that's there, so we need to uh, enter uh, the information. All right, so there's the first one, and the next one we've got 12 all together. I know it's a bit hard to see on that screen there those numbers but don't forget the <coughs> scan of the um, the notes is on the website there six four all right so as soon as so we don't uh, get too bored watching me do that I'm gonna pause the thing and then uh, put all the information in or not, doesn't look like it wants to do that for me. All right, here we are back again. Um, so now I've entered all that information in. And it says the association is nonlinear using a log X transformation. So X, remember, X is the, here our gross domestic product, our EV is our X. So we want to do an X squared, uh, sorry, log X. A log X. So we want to do the log of these gross domestic products. So again, remember when we want to do a calculation to a whole list of stuff. So we want to take the log of all of those numbers there. So rather than doing individually, down the bottom here, click in the bottom box. And now we want to do something. What do we want to do? All right, we want to do log X. So we want to go to our keyboard. And so in our keyboard, the log X one that we want to use is this one right here. So base 10, the log 10. So we'll click on that, and then that's what comes up. Okay, so don't get freaked out by that. It's log 10. 
All right, what do we want the log 10 of? Well, we want the log 10 of this first list, our x. So remember, again, to get to that x, we need one way we can do it using this down arrow catalog across to the L's, jumps to the L's, whoops, jumps to the L's, there we go, jumps to the L's, there we go, list one, input that, better close my brackets just in case, and then I'll go EXE, and there it is, it's done it all, so it's calculated all of those things. All right, let me get rid of the keyboard. All right. So now it's got it. See how mine has not got decimal points? Don't freak out by that. The reason it hasn't got decimal points is see here, I've got this down in standard. So click that, turn it to decimal, go EXE again. And yeah, put my cursor in there, EXE again. There we go. All right. So to get it to do, I had to get my cursor flashing in there, otherwise it wasn't going to do it for me. All right. All right. So see there, it's doing a lock. All right. So now what do we want? We want our regression line. So to get our regression line, what do we got to do? We got to calculate something. So we want to calculate our regression line. And it's a linear regression line. So remember here, over here, see, linearize the data and find the regression line. So we've linearized the data by taking the log X transformation. So now we go linear reg. So now our X list is the log X transformation. So we put that in list three. So we're changing our X. To list three, our y is still list two. We don't want residuals or anything like that. We just want to go straight to the um, regression line. So bang, there we go. <clears throat> there is our regression line. So it's in the form y equals ax plus b. Here's our a, b, and c. So if I come back over here on your notes and we just scroll, walk through on the computer, that's what I'm doing now. So uh, y equals ax plus b. All right, so there's our uh, information. <clears throat> All right, so the a value, there it is there. The b value, there it is there. The 52, the r. Not sure we weren't asked for that, but it's always handy to put it. So 0.89. And just I've written here a reminder that our x is because it's the GDP, but it's the log of the GDP, all right? So this X here is how the calculator represents it, of course, in terms of X. But remember, because we're using list three, and list three is the log of the GDP. So we need to write our um, equation in those terms of our instead of y and x when in terms of our variables which are gdp and lifespan or log of gdp and lifespan i should say now you have a look here there's like five four three four five figures in these numbers it's a bit hard to know what to do all right so i'm going to use four so if i use four significant figures so the y is the lifespan a is the 5.594, X is log GDP plus 54.28. So that's our equation. And remember, we need to always write our equation in terms of our variables. A little reminder, you know, VCAR is not going to uh, give us all the marks if we don't. All right. All right, so then it asks us to predict the lifespan in a country of a gross domestic product of 20,000 correct to one decimal place. All right, so we need to use our calculator for that. So we need to just go back to our main screen. There's, a, there's that. All right, back to our main screen. There we are. 
oh, let's get rid of all that stuff. All that looks exciting. Um, <clears throat> so let's clear all of that. All right, so if we so we're putting twenty thousand in here in our gross domestic product. All right. So when we go up here, we want our lifespan equals 5.549. So I'll do that on the calculator over here. 5.594, not 49. Times, what do we want to times it by? The log of 20,000. So log, remember, keyboard. This one here is the one we're using. We're always using this log 10 one. All right, people who are in, doing other maths might use different ones, but for us in further maths, it's always this one. Times log 10, all right, so that's what the does. We put the number in here now, so 20,000, 20,000. Close your brackets. If you don't close your brackets, your calculator will add the 54.28 before it takes the log all right so now it's going to take the log times it by this then add that if you left the bracket out it would add the 2000 and the 54.28 then take the log then times it all right so make sure you put that bracket in um so then exe there's our answer there it is there, 73.3, 72, uh, hang on, this is why I have not got this correct, because I have not put the right number there. And I have 5.594, log 2000. So it gives me a different answer there. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Ah, 2,000, that's why. I, there you go, it's 20,000, isn't it? Not 2,000. Left one zero out. All right. Now let's... There we go. All right, pretty easy to do. All right, log 20,000, not log 2,000. There we go. 78.33969. Now... The question, there it is just down there, correct to one decimal place. <clears throat> so one decimal place, we're going to chop those last three off. So 78.3 years. Um, and that's it for our log transformations. All right, exercise 5C on your work plan. As I already mentioned, these notes here are on the... Uh, on the website, you can download those off the website if these numbers are a bit hard for you to uh, read. Uh, and don't forget, any questions, make sure you ask me.